Tommy Fam, dude. Once again, making I saw I saw a comment today that perfectly summarized Tommy Fam's career. I feel like is eighty percent of Tommy Fam headlines are related to things that have nothing to do with actually playing the game of baseball. Yeah, it's true. And that's that's pretty much accurate. And and I know a, a play at the plate is what sparked all this. So it's, it's sort of right, sort of not. But you get you get what we're saying here. Uh, the Tommy Fam incident with William Contreras. Like, what are we? There's so many. Th- I feel like there's so many things to unpack here. Yeah. If you didn't see the play, pull it up. You'll you'll see what we're talking about. Play at the plate. He gets hosed at the plate. There's a, a ball. It's I think Yelich, not even close. Yeah. Yelich. It was Yelich, right? Yeah. Yelich throws it in, hoses him at, at the plate. The route he took. That's the biggest thing for me. What are we talking? You can't run to the pitcher's mound on your way home. That's ba- He was halfway there. Yeah. Like I, I got a, I, I saw a screenshot of the feed from the camera down the left field line. Oh, and it was, I didn't it was see the that view. Angle. Yeah, dude, it was, it it's was just absurd. Oh, like outside of the third baseman, almost. It's, I gotta, I gotta set this to you. This, you need to see this. It was insane, and I'm going. Yeah. Water is this? Is this what they're teaching? Teaching the guys in the league now because this is not what what we were taught. I mean, I get I get what he's going after, but the I mean, you look at that. My goodness, dude. The, I mean, it's terrible. Um, yeah, gets hosed at the plate, gets up. William Contreras is, as you would expect, pumped after play at the plate, which I I feel like wasn't a wasn't really addressed enough, wasn't really talked about enough. Like I don't care if. I, I think Tommy Pham took issue with the fact that he was getting he was pumped because uh because the the play was so like it was so it was clear as day that he was out. Like it, he beat yeah. him by like yeah. half the, the length of the base path. I think William Contreras is probably just pumped that, you know, any play at the plate. I don't care if it's he's out by a mile or it's a bang bang play. Any play at the plate, that's a big deal. That's one of the more exciting plays in baseball. Um, but Tommy Pham took exception to it. And we've got I've got the audio here queued up from his uh presser after the fact. And here it is. One run ball game, uh close play at the plate. And I actually wasn't even fucking close. It's a shallow fly ball to left field. You you would expect the left fielder to throw the base runner out on that play, but the situation of the game. Uh, you know, I, third base coach sends you, you got to go. Um, I'm, I'm nailed out at, at home by a mile. Um, I'm, I'm going to the dugout, and, you know, I hear the tough guy with all the hoorah shit, you know. So I, I'll, I'll never start anything, but I'll be prepared to finish it. There's a reason why, you know, I do all kinds of fighting in the offseason because I'm prepared to fuck somebody up. So... You can take it as what it is. Easy, Tommy fam. It's a it's a family show. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, thanks. I'll probably have to flag the episode now, Tommy. <laughs> we do we make every effort to keep this a family program and you're out here just ruining it for everybody. <laughs> apologize apologize uh, oh, for, for the language. But you know, I'm not surprised. And, and no. I think I think the narrative um after this incident as it has been for just about every other Tommy Fam incident is that he yeah. just comes across as a fake tough guy. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here and say that he is with certainty, but it's just the way in which he he talks about it just gives off the vibe of like all right, dude, like how many times are you going to say it? Yeah. I the know. instance I, in which I you did get the... physical, it was a slap. So what are we what are we really supposed to take from that? Excellent point. Excellent point. Maybe that's why he got into like fighting classes in the off season was after the slap. <laughs> that's a great point. That's a great point. Cause it's like, what a, what a, my guy. Yeah, that's He's like, cool. I can't be embarrassing myself like this. I know. So that, I mean, look, you mentioned the angle. Like I have no problem with William Contreras being like, 
you clearly were coming at me there. You're six feet inside the baseline and you're obviously like seeking contact. I'm going to eat that and flex on you all day. I'm totally fine with that. And I'm actually a big fan of like whatever attitude he's bringing to the Brewers. I don't understand the, I never understand the chirping while I'm working backwards towards my teammates. Hold me back, hold me back, and I'm just going to keep leaning back away from you. It's so, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of benches clearing when nothing happens. Make it real for me. Make this the NHL. Let it eat. Just get after each other. And then the shadow boxing as he's walking. Oh, out. that that really oh, that man. really tipped me over the edge. The shadow, yeah. Dude, Ridiculous. Like, who are you trying to impress, Tommy Fam? What the was guy's, that? The guy's delusional. The guy's absolutely delusional. What's crazy is that we keep hearing reports of like how good of a teammate he is too. I don't. I don't I just, get it. I don't get that. I'll be first. I'll be the first to acknowledge. It's I'm not probably in the, the major guy, league. It's, it's probably the guy you love to play with but hate to play against. I, I I could understand that after like maybe the first or second incident. You're like, okay, maybe there's just more to this guy that we don't really know. But it's the same thing every time. Yeah. It's like the like he i i mean I, we don't need to play it again but if you go back and listen to that audio from the post game presser it sounds like pouty like at the end when he, when he's talking yeah. about like it is what it is man take it that uh, what you will like he just sounds like pouty and just like yeah. uh, constantly angry and just looking and and i get it man <laughs> people people have different life life uh. stories than me <laughs> And like they, you know, certain sure. upbringings can sure. can can 100%. lead you to have that kind of mentality. So I I get that from that 100%. point of view, but from a baseball perspective, if you consistently talk about how you're this guy that can just end somebody's career, end somebody's life mm -hmm. from all these classes that you're taking, then like one of these instances, maybe let that show if that's what you're truly about if that's yeah. what you've made your identity to be then yeah. let it show yeah because otherwise it's just all talk i agree i agree and for the record i'm not volunteering to be confronted by tommy fam i'm not saying that I'll, i'm just I, I'm, I, I'm he would he would kick my ass absolutely for sure um uh can we We've we've talked about the the play itself. Can we talk about the call? Did you by chance hear the call? No, I dude, didn't hear. you didn't hear. So okay, oh, this is this would be good. So the White Sox announcer. I don't even remember the guy's name. I looked it up today and already forgot. Probably sure. for good reason. The guy stinks. Tough. Um, remember earlier this year where it was the it was the walk off. I, I want to say it was a Gavin Sheets walk off, and he said he's like. For all the haters, the second time, like for the first time all season, the White Sox have won two in a row. We talked about this. You remember this? Yeah. And he's like, Southside, stand up. You remember? You remember that? Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's the same guy, and the guy, uh. the guy stinks. But we need to we need to run through that uh, call because it was terrible. Please, please. Here's the throw to the play. Contreras is barking at him. Tommy Pham barking back. He's not backing down. He doesn't like that. And now home plate umpire Edwin Jimenez has to hold back Pham. Now nah, we ain't taking that. We ain't taking that from the Brewers. I don't care how many L's we got this year. We ain't taking that. That's basically it. Like, That's the cringiest thing I've ever. Are heard. you kidding me? I saw a tweet today Why that said it sounded so... like like a drunken frat bro. Yeah, trying to like we ain't taking that. Throw hands with somebody. How yeah, old are you? I don't understand that. I don't understand that, dude. Like I've I've listened to a lot of baseball, and like 
I understand being slightly biased towards your team. I understand like a local guy being a uh, rooting for your team. That was not not good. That like, that's just bad, bad broadcasting. That's tough. That's a real tough look. There's a whole lot wrong going on in in Chicago. We ain't taking that from the bro. Stop, man. You are. You are. You're taking it from everybody. You're Every literally day, taking it from everybody. The whole season. You're taking it from everyone. Everyone gets the right to bark at you. Ew, what is it dude. 11 straight now? Are they even playing tonight? Probably. Miserable. They probably hope they're they're off. And here's the thing is that Tommy Pham's going to make us eat our words. He's going to get traded. He's going to go play for a contender. There's a lot of rumblings about the Braves. And he's probably going to have some great postseason performance. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's a good ball player. And he dominates lefties. And, you know, sometimes you need a tough guy in that clubhouse. But, like, it's just a reoccurring theme here. Yeah. I agree, Andrew. I agree. Andrew says, as much as I dislike fam, I feel like deep down he'll be a brave after the trade deadline and lead us back to the World Series. Yeah, that would be that. It's just perfectly it's one of those, ironic. Yeah, it's one of those guys that you just truly deep down don't really want to see, see succeed, but they just, they not only do they find success, they just go on to have these moments where it's like, all right, well, sick. There's nothing I can really say to that. So, right. And that's kind of kind of where we're at kind of where we're at yeah just a just a mess man but I, but you said it best the the white Sox are taking it from everybody so i mean what the, i don't even care that's a it's a miserable franchise to watch they're honestly. on pace to be one of the worst of all time I'd, i think i'd rather watch the marlins i really would i think they're actually on pace to i'd rather watch the, rockies. the a's i'd rather watch the rockies i i would rather watch any other team than the White Sox. Yeah. 